Hi and welcome to this DCP Web HTML5 and CSS Beginners Tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at HTML entities also known as special characters. So let's open up our web browser and we'll open up Notepad++ and we just open up our folder and we drag and drop the index file here. And this tutorial is going to be pretty quick and um, really we left off creating these URL links so underneath this URL link let's create a HR tag we've got a line separator here and we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in HTML entities list there's quite a few different options here to select I would start off with probably this uh, HTML entities W3 scores yeah uh, so when you click here, you'll notice on your keyboard that you don't have some of these special characters. Some of them are there, like the open and close brackets and the ampersand, the speech marks and so forth. Uh, but the yen sign, you'll never find it on your keyboard. You may not find the euro, depending on where you are. And you probably won't, you definitely won't find the copyright or the registration mark here. So normally I use this table to reference the copy copyright. I know this kind of off the top of my head now. But ampersand copy semicolon will be representing this particular character here. And if you ever go to a website, if we even go to my own, and we scroll to the bottom, you'll always see like a copyright sign, right? Something like this. So let's go ahead and do that copyright sign. So at the bottom here, uh, we'll do ampersand copy semicolon, right? So let's put that in a paragraph tag first. And we're going to do ampersand, which is shift number seven on my keyboard, copy and semicolon. And we go back to the website and we refresh. Now we can see the copyright sign. And then normally we'd write copyright. Uh, whichever company name you may have and um, let's just do something like uh, do not copy my content thanks there's your copyright sign normally you put your company name in there so that's how you get that special character you can hunt on your keyboard high and low and you won't find that symbol on your keyboard because you need to use these special characters these set of characters to generate that you can also do it by these numbers, I, I believe. So let's do the copy right here, and then we'll put a space here. So we've got two separate ones now, and we'll just get two copyright signs. So there's two ways of doing that. Normally, I use the text-based one because it's, uh, let's just say, it's a lot easier to remember. Ampersand copy. Um, let's try another one. So let's go down the line, and let's have a look at ampersand reg so for a registration trademark then you've got the registration trademark there we'll delete this one and we'll save it and that's just a handful of them right there's loads so if we go back a page to google list we can click on this reference chart and here we can see all the different references so if we want this one for example we could copy this tag here let's try and zoom in a bit a bit too far uh, let's have a look at let's find something that would that looks a bit interesting because there's quite a lot of them in here right a lot of these are for um uh scientific calculations like these ones are for i believe um like doing uh wire diagrams or electronics so if we copy that one there and paste it here save it then we get that sign, right? So you need to go and find the ones that you need, the ones that you want to use. And these become like universal uh, symbols that you can use. Because these basically don't exist on your keyboard. Most of these. You've got other ones as well. So you've got like these little emoji ones, like a telephone. So that's like a really good one to have. So I use that quite often, like this little telephone. And then you can put a space there and put whatever number you want just make this number up and we refresh it then we've got a phone icon it's actually a character 
and then we've got the phone number afterwards we should really put some spaces in this phone number right to make it easier to read and let's take that in fact and we'll take that copy we'll copy that phone number and let's put it uh, right here refresh and we can see the phone number there now so go and experiment with some of these have a little play around with them um, I'm not quite sure why there's a few different versions of this so let's have a look at this hearts one there's two there's two different ones right so let's copy both of these and where's that phone number gone let's put that right underneath the phone number see what the difference is between these two Let's refresh and they look exactly the same to me so I'm not quite sure why there's two versions of it but they look exactly the same I assume there's a reason there's two versions of it I think one just says um, if it wants to do a playing card right heart suit the suit playing card and one is just hearts as in generally just a heart shape so that might be the difference to represent playing card I assume there's spade in here somewhere there's spade clubs diamonds so there's diamonds as in, as in the diamond shape and then there's diamonds as in the diamond suit of the card so that's why there's two different ones okay that makes sense so there's not really much else to explain here these are the special characters this is how you can implement them on the page using these special tags and that's really about it for this tutorial so this one was nice and short i'm going to close this and close this go and experiment with um those special entity tags and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.